Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, we are going to be continuing the early fall decorating inspiration, this time heading into our living room space. I did bring it down to the bare bones so that way we can just put it all together ourselves. We have been in between some really large projects in our home. We finished the downstairs flooring. We are redoing all the flooring in our home. So the downstairs is done, but we also in the interim are redoing our fireplace. So you're gonna see some studs of wood here on the sides. We are redoing the actual fireplace itself as well as doing built-ins on the sides. So it's a super exciting project but it does take time to make these things happen. So I'm working around it for now. If you guys missed my early fall entryway styling ideas video, I shared five different ways you could style your entryway for the season. So many of you love that video and I appreciate all the comments on it so very much. But if you missed it, I will have it linked in the video description and let's head into the living room space. So if you guys saw my last recent home decor finds video, I shared these beautiful tapestry floral pillows. These are from 23rd by Deanne. I got some different ones for early spring and spring decorating and I am just obsessed with these. This is not sponsored or anything. They are so beautiful. They are an investment, I will say that, but I love that they are as always reversible. So we have this beautiful side that's got some browns, slight hues of green, rust, red. And then if you flip it around to the other side, we have this beautiful orange tone. So once I redecorate for the fall season, I will flip a couple of these around. But for the meantime, I'm just going to use this side. And this is my jumping off point for the entire living room space. I always like to pinpoint either some florals or a pillow combination that I love and just kind of go from there so that way everything's cohesive and tells a story in the space. So this is also really great because it pulls in some of the tones of the leaf stems I have on our entryway table right now. So we are going to use these beautiful pillow covers today. So I'm going to start off with this brown throw blanket. I also shared this in my last video. It was a super budget-friendly find from Amazon and adds in so much warmth and texture. Now I'm adding the pillow cover I shared earlier and also adding in one from a previous collection of theirs that helps bring in that neutral olive. For fall styling, I really love to incorporate more cozy textiles, so I'll go for knits and velvets, and as we get deeper into the season, I'll bring in some faux fur throws as well. It's just a little, little bit too early for that right now, so I'm going to bring in this neutral knit throw to add some texture. On the smaller love seat, I'm adding this neutral throw blanket from Home Goods to add some texture, and then using the same combination of pillows that I did on the larger couch to really make an impact in the space. I love the combination of the more neutral olive toned one with the rust brown and reds. So we're going to keep these styling over here very simple. I have this glass scalloped box. This was from Amazon. And then I have this gold footed tray. This was from Target some time ago. And it's just a perfect touch to add to any table at a candle or something. But I have this vase I found antique shopping with some dried baby's breath to just give a subtle floral. I don't want to overdo the florals in the space because I always do a coffee table arrangement. I have the entry table and our other side table, I also put florals. So I don't always make them the same. I actually prefer to have them different, but I wanted something 
more delicate on the side here. Then in the glass box here, Hannah Naylor shared some cinnamon sticks in a glass box on her Instagram and I could not get it out of my head ever since she did it. I thought it was just such a cool touch. It brings an organic material, but also makes sense for the season. So thank you, Hannah, for that idea. But I picked some up at Hobby Lobby so I can recreate it myself. I actually grabbed two packs of them because I wasn't sure how many I could actually fit in here or what would look the best. But you could always add in some pine cones if you wanted an organic material that's not cinnamon sticks. You could do artichokes, some little pumpkin pods, stems. Um, what else? You could do these in like a stone bowl too. I bet that would look really good. So I just wanted to add a few of these in here for the season. On this side table, I also keep things on the more simplistic side. I got this small stamp when I was at Golden Oldies last. It's this wooden stamp. It's so pretty. It has florals on it. And then I have this gold leaf. This was from Kirkland's last year. For some reason, they did not bring it back, probably because of the glitter that flakes off of it. But I have found some gold brass ones on Etsy, so I will have some linked down below. And I think the patina of those would actually add a lot of character to a space. But everything was feeling very muted between the cream and the gray and the brown. So I wanted to add in that gold pop for some color. For florals, I'm actually going to keep it super simple. I have these blackberry stems from Hobby Lobby. I've actually had these for quite some time now. I want to say three or four years. I will say... The stem is super fake looking, so I do actually prefer to layer this with something else, but the opening of this is super narrow, so I don't think that's gonna work out. So I'm gonna see how I feel, live with it for a little bit, and I can always switch out the greenery if I am not a fan of how it is looking, but I wanted something else a little bit more delicate because we have those beautiful statement leaf stems behind me and I don't want to overpower that. I've mentioned this before in so many videos and I will continue to do so, but that is the importance of taking the time to adequately fluff and bend around your faux stems. That is the key difference in making your arrangements look that much more curated and high-end versus something that you just picked off of your local store and just plopped it in a vase. It makes such a difference and impact to bend them around and give them a more natural appearance in your spaces. So I was not kidding when I said we literally have two by fours out in our home right now. It is a work in progress. We have been making so many strides in our home, but I'm excited to get that project going one thing at a time. I did shop the new Hearth and Hand fall line, and I actually picked up all of the mini lamps that they had. I missed out the last time when they had that neutral beige one, and I knew I wanted it for our kitchen space. They also came out with this really pretty brown one and the green, and I wasn't sure which one I was going to prefer. I actually prefer the brown one versus the green. I still have the green one, and in my next video is going to be the Hearth and Hand Fall Shop with me, so I will be sure to show it before I return it. So that way you guys can see in person. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just personal preference at the end of the day. But I thought this would be a nice touch to add to the end table here. I'm just going to put a little book, a faux book that is, to add some height to bring the lamp up. I 
And the last touch to the side table is this small frame that I found at Hobby Lobby. And for my vase, I'm going to use this vintage look-alike pot that I shared in my last video as well. This was from Antique Farmhouse. They all come different from each other. So if you order one online, it may not look like mine. They have variation between them. Like mine has some glaze that's not on and it has this exposed back. I love that it actually looks like a true vintage piece that I sourced rather than a big box store. So I actually love the character of this, but just a heads up, they all are gonna have variation. But I wanted to help bring in the earthy tones of these beautiful pillows to our coffee table. For florals, we are keeping it very, very simple. These I actually picked up from Hobby Lobby. They are, funny enough, one of the colors that I did not originally pick up when I shared my Hobby Lobby Shop With Me video. I did not realize that there were four colors, not three. So they have this beautiful pinkish kind of tone, an orange tone, a purple tone, and a cream. So they have four different colors for you guys to choose from. I think online they are completely sold out but I will include the item code so you can call your local store to see if they might have them. But I love that these give the look of a dried floral without being one. You can always buy preserved if you want or if you have a hydrangea bush outside, dry them and bring them in. I have not had any luck being able to do that myself somehow. So these help me achieve that look that I'm looking for without the struggles involved with it. But these are selling out super, super fast. So if you guys are not ready to decorate for fall, but have your eye on stuff like this, you do need to go out now and try to find it. To the wooden tray, I'm adding this cast iron leaf. I found this antique shopping a few years ago, and I love to bring this out for the fall season. And to that, we're adding this small paper mache apple that was from Amazon. A super simple seasonal touch you can add to your home that is really easy to swap out and budget friendly as well are actually artwork. You can do some digital downloads and get them printed out at your local Walgreens. You can do Amazon and get them shipped to your house. And what I actually like to do with mine, I picked out two for the fall season. I did this beautiful fall floral and then I did a butterfly moth. I think it's a moth <laughs> as well. But what I like to do is get them printed out and actually take some Mod Podge to them. I've shared this before so many times. It's just one of the easiest, easiest touches you can add to make it look more like real artwork without being real artwork. Take some Mod Podge, brush it on as you would paint, and then just kind of tap and pull in different directions so it looks like it's an actual painted piece rather than a print that you got at a local shop. It is so affordable. I will have both of the prints that I did linked down below. They were from Etsy. There are so, so many of them available, but we're gonna swap them out and it'll help tie in the color scheme that we have going on for the season better. Just wanted to say a quick thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today. I sure hope you are enjoying the early fall decorating inspiration. 
If you have started decorating for fall, let me know down in the comments. And if you are not ready to decorate, that is totally okay. You can save these videos for some inspiration later and get some ideas before you're ready. I am by no means pressuring you to start. I love to decorate early for these seasons. This is my favorite time of year, so I can't have it come soon enough. And to help tie in some of the colors from the prints that we did, as well as the berries that we put on this side table right below, I'm going to add in one of these green leaf sprays from Hobby Lobby and a couple of the berry stems as well. touch today we'll be adding this beautiful fall wreath from Dawn at Hickory Lane Wreaths. She sent this to me last year and I always get so excited to bring this out every season. It is such a beautiful piece and it ties in the colors that I decorated with so perfectly.
that is going to wrap up today's video, friends. I sure hope you enjoyed seeing the process of how I decorated our living room space for the early fall season and that you got some good decorating ideas and inspiration as well. Again, if you missed my entryway styling ideas video, I will have that linked down below. And in my next one, we will be doing the new hearth and hand line for fall 2024 and then continuing the early fall decorating inspiration. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here today and I will see you in my next video, friends. Bye.